Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the Unleashed Potential Guide for Generals. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Let's first um, separate the generals into two groups. Um, the first group of generals that I will be discussing will focus their passive um, towards their allies. So. Their unique passives uh, are based, are triggered based on um, what stats do their allies have. So I'll start off with Garf. So as for Garf, let's see his uh, skills first. His passive. I've already checked in in advance with all of the with all of the generals, and um, this guide does not um, affect their their s1 and s2 skills and also i've also checked that um, uh, the implications uh, here discussed will affect their regular forms and their fate core uh, fate course so let's start with protect three for for garf so for garf's unique passive um so grants allies with lower maximum health uh, than self with the command mark and increases defense slash health by 20% so for this to trigger again based on based on the previous video that I that I made um, the guide on um, what you call this the guide on the unique passives I'll, I'll put a video up up here so that you could watch that as well but this is actually a spin off on that one because you need to make sure that all of the generals are hitting their unique passives uh, every time you encounter enemies on the other side. So for Garf, it's important that you increase his health and because of the new Unleash system, you can do that already. So let's go to that. So you go here to the increased health is under stamina. So for this one, you have to, you can actually increase his health up to 4,750 for the first tier. And for this one, again, I think this is another, um, another 4,000, 4,000 something, <laughs> 4,750. So two, two times 4,750, that is going to be your increase in, 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 Garf's HP because you need to trigger that as much as possible and Garth has to have the highest um, highest health of all uh, the heroes in your team including all of your allies um, I'm also going to recommend something for Garth for unreached potential so aside from prioritizing stamina the stamina tree so you prioritize everything so that you could reach up to this one so overtime effect reduces all ally damage by 15%. So this can't be stacked. So I'm, I'm not sure if you could stack this with another heroes or another journals um, similar unleash potential effect, but I think you can't. So this remains at 15. So if she, uh, the game will either use this one or another, or another general stack. Okay, but aside from the stamina tree, I'll also recommend Garf's defense okay um defense this one because if you look at his his what do you call this his unleash potential effect for his defense tree it deals additional 75 percent of own defense when attack hits okay and also it also appears here in his s i think this is his s1 this one is his s2 okay so it's important as well that you make sure that um, you you first go through the stamina, which increases his health. Then the next would be his defense for his unleash potential um, additional bonus damage. Okay, um, it's up to you if you're going to finish off um, the attack tree, but I would suggest that you you go first with the the uh, stamina tree then the defense tree okay next uh, general that we have on our list is dorka so 
their their passives are directed the condition to triggering their passives is again versus their own team or their own allies so for dorka it's soul bond so grants allies with less attack than self with soul bond mark and heals 30 percent of missing health every turn reduces magic damage taken by 30 percent so if we go to his unleash potential the one that you're going to prioritize like for example i already started mine because First and foremost, Dorka doesn't have an FC now. That that gives her a lot of attack stat. Um, her current FC is, is uh, Fate Core is orange, and it doesn't give that much. It's, it's just pretty much aesthetic. So what I did so that almost all of the heroes under her would would be healed, I had to increase her attack already. So it's it's I already started it here, but I went to the right initially, which was kind of a mistake, but it's okay. Um, I, I, I would actually want to make sure that, that everything is filled out for Dorka because she's a great character support and she's good for content, she's good for PvP and, and for PvE as well. So I already, I already maxed out her uh, increased attack for this one. And once you max it out, her unleash potential effect is she gives bind for two turns when this skill attack uh, attack hits so this is her s s1 i think yeah this is her s1 sorry yeah this is her s1 black iron storm so for dorka the next one that you should prioritize is actually her health so stamina tree is the next one to to be prioritized because of this one because of her unleash potential effect, deals additional 1,000 piercing damage when attacking enemy. So this is very good, especially for her, her S1, which is a AoE attack. And this adds to her piercing damage for her S2. Also, she needs that extra survivability as well with additional HP. But for Dorka, I would suggest you, you cover everything because she doesn't have her feet core right now. And to take note as well, guys, um. I would highly recommend that you uh, unleash potential uh, the heroes which are generals because they have a great effect on your team especially if you're bringing them i'd rather you you what do you call this you you prioritize them because ultimate orbs are very rare in the game they they only come out during the monthly event the core raid and i think they'll be out in the what's the other event i forgot the other event but it they usually go out during events only so core raid pass and your monthly monthly mission pass or monthly missions you will only have the opportunity to to mine for this ultimate orb so our next one would be schmidt I don't have Schmidt yet. It's been a while since I've tried to summon for him, so I'm I might get him in the in the core raid pass because I'm I'm actually subscribed to the the bottom part of the core raid pass as of the moment. But for Schmidt's um, Schmidt's unique passive, he's not included in the unique passive review that I did previously because he was not there yet. So now is the time that I could review him. So master fo master's footsteps grants master's footsteps to ally with lower defense than the caster. So again, this affects allies. So her his trigger is defense. Okay, so let's proceed to an each potential for Schmidt. So you first focus on the defense tree. So you have defense here and defense here, and eventually you get to have his, his unleashed potential effect. So resets one turn per round if owned mana is under three after the skill hits. So after this skill hits, he could get another turn. Okay, so that's 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 good. That this is a big damage for a skill, it's a burst skill as well. Aside from this one, the next um Tree that I think you should prioritize is Schmidt's health because of his passive, which grants mana to self when the round starts. So I think this is only one mana every round that 
every time the round starts. So Schmidt is, I think, in the front row. So he won't be affected by his flow of mana. So you need mana for him. This is good because he has a burst skill. And um, the next would be, again, the obvious one is attack. So same as your defense for the turn reset if mana is under 3 after the skill hits. So that is it for, for Schmidt. So increase his defense uh, versus his allies. The next and the last one on on passive uh, versus allies is Bathory. So if you can click Bathory, um, Bathory actually has this one for his for her tranquil skill grants allies with less attack than self with the tranquil mark and protects from death one time. So again, this is based on attack. So you go to her unleashed potential prioritize attack then go towards this one her her uh what they call this for for her unleashed potential effects resets one turn one time per round if old mana is under three and after the skill hits similar to schmidt as well so but again for her you should also prioritize stamina because you also need to get through this one grants mana to self when the additional round starts you gain one mana this is also good for her because she also has a burst skill and she gets additional hp for this one and the rest of the other bonuses once you reach the bottom okay so the, the to the second group of uh, group of uh, generals that we have i'll go first with janai because <clears throat> recently she has been tied with shell in terms of team composition because shell just you know just got out so if you can see she has charm so afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with a charm mark and decreases their attack speed by 30. okay i'll i'll dwell more on this now because um this is versus the enemy so the 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 the, the generals that will be that will be talking in this group is janai shufraken and rachel so this is difficult to gauge because you don't know how much the the stat of the enemy to be compared with is so for your end you have to try to make sure that what the stat stat that they're asking for you to increase you increase it as high as possible let's say for example for janai so this is attack so she has to have the higher highest attack of all the enemies on the other side this is crucial because you will be you will be facing um uh, mirror matches meaning um you, there will be another janai on the other side so it's crucial on how you develop your team and how you increase your attack stat so let's go to her anise potential so if you can see here i already started with her attacks so i already increased her attack here and you'll be able to increase her attack here to be able to get this one this is similar sorry this is similar to dorka's um unleash potential effect so bind for two turns when the attack hits so this is actually important that you maximize this even if she has her fc already because you'll be encountering mirror matches that you won't want to, you know, um, try your luck. Increase your, your attack with her as much as possible with Unleash Potential. And the other, the other thing that you should also focus on is under Stamina. Because, because the, Unleash, the Unleash Potential effect also gives an additional 1,000 piercing damage when attacking the enemy. Which is good for her because she is a attack base character as well so for her defense it's similar to her um to her attack but this uh affects her i think s2 s2 skill the next the next one would be shufraken so, so for shufraken it's actually i think defense on his fear of the abyss so as fear the abyss mark to enemies with defense lower than you so again, this is actually based on the defense of the enemy. 
and also you have to make sure that um, you prioritize defense because this one the additional damage is based on defense this is similar to Garf as well so priority prioritize defense because of passive and additional damage because of a niche potential then you go to health as well or stamina because you will need this one so reduces all allies damage by 15 percent this is also good similar to garf and the last probably would you, you would that we prioritize is attack because you need also to unlock this one the last general that we're going to discuss is rachel so for FC Rachel, she, uh, sorry, his attack is also versus the enemy. So because of disheartened, afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with a disheartened mark and decreases their dodge by 50 and defense by 20. So the enemy should have lower attack than Rachel. So again, prioritize the attack tree so that you could get the skill. So turn one. Turn one time per round of if own mana is under three and skill hits. And the second priority will be under stamina, which um, gives him an initial mana uh, when the round starts. The last one, of course, will be on defense. Okay, so anyway, I'll be putting out another set of a niche potential videos that I'm recommending or as a guide. Um, for now, this is just for journals. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. You all stay safe. Warden out.